All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel today. Today, as you can see behind me here, I got a few different clothing options. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the things that I don't think is talked about enough for new cyclists getting into mountain biking, road biking, or just casual cycling. What should you wear? I know I had that question when I first started riding. So today, I got a couple different options behind me of what I've worn throughout this, like, my cycling journey. I like to go over those options with you so you guys have an idea of what's out there. All right, so first thing I want to say before I go into different clothing options. If you're just starting off, you've been riding a long time, don't think what I'm saying here is what you have to wear. What I'm saying is be comfortable while you ride. Not going to matter what you wear. You know, you'll see people in you know, spandex and baggy shorts and jerseys, you know, skin suits, all sorts of different things. All you need to be is comfortable. No one's going to judge you for what you're wearing. At the most, they'll be like, oh, yeah, that's interesting. But they're not going to judge you. They're not going to hate you for wearing whatever you're wearing. If you go to some of the bigger, bigger events, bigger century rides, you'll see people on, like, tutus, you know, riding their bike. Um, or, like, old-fashioned gear. Um, it's not really going to matter what you wear. So, starting with that, if you're just getting into cycling, and you don't want to invest a lot into your gear, what well, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're comfortable and that your clothing is breathable. It's the easiest thing for you. If you got a pair of basketball shorts or something kind of breathable like this, for women you got the you know the leggings that have some breathability to them. Start off with a pair of these, and really any kind of shirt. This is a dry fit shirt from one of my previous races that I did. Um, something like this. Both of these are going to be very breathable. Um, not going to you know to help get the sweat out versus have it stick to you. It really, it's going to help you feel comfortable while you ride. They're also very loose, so you can feel free and move around in this very well. It's not going to you know, hold on to you really tight, so you're not able to move um, or move freely while you're on a mountain bike. If you're on a road bike, you know, you're going to get a little bit of drag from the bagginess, but it's still going to work perfectly fine. All right, moving on to a little bit more specific based on what you like to wear. Uh, I'm going to start with first is going to be a set of padded shorts. Let me find where I put them. There we go. So this is going to be your basic set of padded shorts here. So inside here, let me take them off the hanger. So inside here, you obviously have a pad here. So that pad is obviously shaped for a man, blue. Generally blue, blue is for men, pink is for women. Some brands mix it up. I think I have orange back there, but generally that's kind of your cue for, for most brands. Um, so this is obviously a padded short. This is a basic. These are a Pro Azumi Attack shorts. Um, these are the ones I first started riding in once I kind of moved up from the basic basic shorts. They make shorts anywhere from about $20, I think, with my first pair that I bought, up to, you know, a couple hundred, just based on how much you want to spend. These ones I always buy, I would buy mine on sale, I'm cheap, so if you're cheap, look for them on sale. These are very nice, very good quality shorts, very comfortable, in my opinion, the best ones. I've ridden multiple century rides on these, and they have been super comfortable. All right, so obviously these are a short style, so you go on just like your normal pants. Don't wear underwear. If you haven't seen the Global Cycling Network's one of what not to wear when cycling, don't wear underwear. Just go straight on. Very comfortable, very basic. I recommend starting with these. These are going to be your cheapest option to get into kind of a cycling-specific clothing or shorts. Recommend these. I think there's something a little bit different than that, but still, it's going to be a cycling short. You have something like this. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. This is going to be a bib short. It's obviously it's called a bib. Kind of goes on your shoulders. There's no elastic at the waistband here. But they have the same thing as the cycling shorts. They have a nice padding in the middle. Now for bibs, most bib shorts are going to start about $50 and then go up from there again to about the price range that shorts will go up to. Um, I personally like the bib shorts the best just because it releases the pressure from around your waist and instead puts it up to go kind of on your shoulders. These are also, in my opinion, a lot more breathable than the the bit than the actual shorts themselves. Obviously, different brands, different styles. Again, find them on sale. Well worth the money if you're looking just to try them out. I think these I got in sale for like 30 bucks. Uh, they had a really good sale at this site. At the, these are Pac Timos, uh, but I also have the Pro Zumi Attack bibs as well. One tip I do have. If you are planning on riding with spandex shorts or riding long distances, pick up a tube of this. This is the OG chamois butter. Uh, they make different brands, different styles. They make like a speed stick, kind of like a, like a deodorant stick version. 
Guess some of this. Slathered on. We're all ride for miles. Not a problem. No chafing. None of that. Get a bottle. Save your life. So the last type of bottoms I want to talk about. The last type of shorts is going to be a style like this. This is going to be your baggy mountain bike shorts right here. These ones are baggy. These ones do not have a liner in them. So they're just a baggy short. As heavy as these are, um, these are actually kind of a heavier material. They're actually very breathable. I was very surprised with how breathable they were. When I got them, when I ordered them, I thought they'd be light, you know, light and pretty thin, like a bib short. Instead, they're actually pretty, they're a pretty heavy material and it makes sense. It's for mountain biking, you don't want to rip them. But this is actually very breathable. With these shorts, since they don't have the liner, and I tend to ride more cross country style. What I like to do, I like to actually combine the two of these, so my bib shorts and the shorts here. So I wear the bib shorts underneath, and that gives me a padded, Added area for my butt to sit on, not get not get sore as, as easily. Benefit to these, they have pockets. Bib shorts do not have pockets. So if you like that, this is also an option for you. These ones, I think I paid thirty dollars. These were used. The new ones gonna start right about fifty, and then go up from there. All right. So moving on to shirts or your tops. Obviously, I mentioned at the beginning. Obviously, a set a shirt, just kind of a breathable shirt like this dry fit one. Um, or a shirt like I'm wearing right now, it's very breathable, kind of an exercise oriented shirt, gonna be the best, it's gonna help you breathe a lot better. See people riding in t-shirts all the time, cool, ride a t-shirt, you know, like I said, riding whatever's comfortable for you. If I'm gonna ride in a shirt, it's gonna be a dry fit shirt, helps me, helps it just be more breathable, the air come through, the sweat not stick to me as much. If you're looking to get something a little bit different, you gotta go more towards a cycling style, you have a jersey similar to this here. So this is gonna be like your road bike style jersey. This has your three pockets on the back here. This is the one you're gonna see most people on you know, right on the road. You know, a lot of people mountain biking wear this as well. This one has the full zipper here. So it has the full zipper, normal sleeves, able to open it right here to get some air through here. Very breathable. Obviously, tons of different styles. This is the one that I like from the Century Ride, I think it was two years ago. This is a mat ride. I also have more of a mountain bike or trail style jersey, which is gonna look similar to the dry fit one but be out of the same similar material. So again, it's gonna be a much breathable shirt. Those come in kind of a short sleeve, mid sleeve, and then long sleeve. Obviously I live in Hawaii, so if you live in cold weather, I'm sorry, I don't know too much about cold weather riding, just because it's warm here all the time. All right, so I hope this video helps you guys understand what choices there are out there for different cycling gear as you ride. It's like I mentioned, this isn't addressed very much, so I hope this helps. Everything I talked about in this video, all these different jerseys, except for my Honolulu Century One Rosie, all these different choices, I will post a link in the description below to Amazon so you guys can take a look at all those so you can see all the different options that are out there. Like I mentioned, shop around. A lot of time you can find deals or specials on their actual sites so you can find deals, especially as it's getting towards the end of the year. A lot of them have a, like a year jersey, so sometimes you can find a better deal on those. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today.